Hello my spooky darlings, Kelly here from Black Fawn Distro and I am doing a very special streams and screams edition of The Shopping Block in which we talk about a recent film to be released and do a little mini review on it. So I am talking about a film that's now available on Shudder. It has been buzzing across the internet. It has been the talk of the horror town. If you're not sure what I'm talking about or haven't <laughs> read it in the description, I am of course going to be speaking about When Evil Lurks by Damien Rugda. It is an Argentinian film from a director who previously did a film called Terrified, not to be confused with Damien Leone's Terrifier, very different film. Um, in this one, When Evil Lurks, there are two brothers that um, discover that there is a possessed, rotten um, person in their small community, in their small rural community, that they must try and evict in order to keep the rest of their community or their, their area safe. In their attempt to dispose of this rotten, possessed person, they um, kind of mess it up a little bit and things go horribly awry and just escalate from there. As with everything in life, it doesn't always go as planned and it usually doesn't get this bad. Sometimes it does. In this case, it definitely does. One of the things I love about this film is that it is just incredibly bleak. And I say that with all the love in my heart. I love this kind of film that just gets this vice grip on you emotionally and does not let go. It is so dark, so uh, mean, but it overall has such a surprising, unexpected um, brutality and, and, and just harsh um, grip that I really, really loved. I think it just kind of hits all those right notes of the complete futility of it all sometimes that even if you do things even if you try and stop even if you try and help sometimes evil just wins and that's just the way it goes sometimes especially in horror films and there's something so beautifully simple and uh, upsetting about that that I think really shines in this film. Of course, you're gonna have to be cool with subtitles, which you should, because really a lot of the best horror films out there, in my opinion, are the foreign horror films because you're able to connect with these characters so much more when you don't recognize Brad Pitt running around being chased by a bunch of zombies. It's something that you can latch on to and, and really kind of get wrapped up in the emotion of it because it's that much more real. I feel like in a lot of supernatural horror films, you kind of get that it's either going to be really predictable or it's something that, oh, obviously they should do this or they should do that or they shouldn't do this. But in this case, it's just really easy to get caught up in that whole idea that they, they genuinely thought that they were doing the right thing. They thought they were doing everything the right way and they thought it was going to be okay. And it, of course, never goes as planned. This is a beautifully shot film as well. Uh, the cinematography is spectacular and it has some really amazing practical effects as well. Um, some really surprising practical effects. If you have not seen When Evil Lurks, I strongly recommend it. It is a bleak dark, upsetting, deeply upsetting. There's a lot of scenes in this film that I did not expect and uh, kind of some of them actually made me, one made me laugh out loud. I feel like I wasn't supposed to be laughing, but I did because I'm a terrible person. Um, car door is all I'll say. But there's other scenes that just kind of come out of nowhere and not what you expect and really kind of blew me away. So I was deeply impressed by Terrified. I thought it was a wonderful film. And uh, this film, I think, is a spectacular follow-up. So I'm very excited to see what he does next. He's a wonderfully talented auteur. And uh, yeah, check it out. It is now on Shudder. And I'm sure everyone is talking about it, as you know. So you probably know at least a few horror fans out there that have seen it. Watch it, discuss it with them. And let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.
el bichao del pueblo. Estás asustando a mi familia. ¡Lo vi con mis propios ojos! ¡Estuve con él! Esto va a ser un infierno. Tenemos que encontrar a la bestia. Antes de que nazca más. Los tiempos de la fe se terminan rápido.